Hi everyone, where well, here I am with Truffle on day four of the coronavirus pause, as I've called it, uh, looking down at the lovely river. Um, it's the afternoon now, about quarter past four. Um, couldn't get out this morning, just too much to do. Amazingly, I thought I would be not busy now, but I am really busy. But I'm just going to sit here for a little while uh, with my little friend here. Where have you gone? There we are. Say hello, Truffle. Mm. She's quite diffident, really, as a dog, aren't you? Hey, you're quite a diffident little doggy. Yes. Yes, you're sweet, though. You are sweet. You are sweet. There's a very nice little stone seat here, or little ledge. I might come back and sit here and watch the sunset. Lovely clear water. That's a nice boat too, isn't it, Trophy? Hey, you coming across? So, evening time at the duck pond today. Good morning. Oh. Where are they all off to? So while I'm waiting for the sun to go down, um, just to let you know, Douglas did get back safely yesterday. We went to pick him up at Heathrow and uh, Heathrow was completely deserted. I mean, I we parked in the short stay car park and there were no other cars there at all. I've never ever seen it like that and probably never will see it again like that. We got an email today saying there's um, some uh, clapping for carers or something at eight o'clock tonight uh, so we'll, it'd be interesting to see if people do that um, because we're not right in the middle of the village um, but we'll certainly go outside and join in uh, it's quite interesting to think about what the community has been doing here so we're in a small village and we have um, an email that you can sign up to and that's been giving us lots of advice and links and um, useful things um, and also suggested that we fill out some f a form uh, for people who are self-isolating um, so that and deliver it to six people six houses next to us um, with our contact details so d did that um, haven't heard anything from anybody so far but um, did that and then I set up a WhatsApp group for our immediate little close. Um, that's been really useful already actually. I mean I don't know why we haven't done it before because we've all been living here for you know a good number of years and already you know people have said I'm going to Tesco or I'm going to the shop you know does anybody need anything and somebody needed some batteries and so yeah, <laughs> there are some good things that are coming out of this, despite how horrible it is for everybody. I also wanted to say a few hellos to people who really kindly left me messages. Um, I've had something like 80 views on my first uh, day one, which is amazing. <laughs> um, so thank you, everybody. I had um, lovely comments from... Um, obviously my parents who are uh, over 80 now and they're at home and I haven't been able to see them so hello mum and dad hope you're all right really miss you um, thank you for being the best supporters in the world um, and also my friends Jane and um, Karen 
and Melinda. Thank you for your lovely comments. Um, also people further afield uh, um, in Scotland, um, George and John, you know who you are. Um, and Karen, all the way, another Karen, all the way over in Canada. Um, so that's really nice, that's been really nice actually. Um, but what I really want to do, I mean the reason that I started this, was to be able to let people see the countryside if they're stuck at home and you know maybe haven't got any green space to, to, to go into at all so the only problem is that I don't really know how to get to those people and so I'm doing these videos mm -hmm. and um, you know I need help I need help getting the message out because I don't want this to be all in vain um, so if you can help or can share or tell me what to do um, I'd be very grateful. Hello little chuff. Look at your hair, it's all glowing red in the evening light.